If you go to google.com and search for free antivirus, the first thing that shows up other than ads is probably going to be Avast. So today we're going to find out how good it is at actually protecting your system by testing it against real ransomware. And since Windows 11 comes with built-in protection, which is Windows 11 Defender, we're going to compare the two side by side and see who does a better job. This is Leo and you're watching the PC Security Channel. This video is brought to you by NordVPN. So to start off, we have a vast one installed on this test system. There weren't any major PUP-like behaviors with this version, but it did have Google Chrome bundled and we did have to decline that. Other than that, it's pretty much plug and play. I'm not a huge fan of the new user interface. It just seems like you need to click on more things to actually get to the settings. So there's an additional option here to open the file shield. So if I actually wanna make any changes, it's now two steps instead of one, but that's all right. We're gonna to figure out how well it actually performs. So to test that out, we've got some infamous ransomware here in a shared location. We've got 72 items. These are from the last five years, pretty deadly threats that have a reputation. We're now going to automate the execution of all of that on the system using our testing tool Malex, and we'll see what happens. So Geronimo. So far so good. Everything seems to be getting blocked and Avast is giving us these nice alerts saying threat secured. Almost done here and great. We've got a proactive detection of 100%. So good news, it blocked all of the ransomware. But here's the thing, these are well-known threats. They've been behind major attacks and every security product would know about them by now. Uh, there are always some exceptions, but that's a good job. So far, so good. But now I wanna see what's gonna happen if we try a new threat that's going to use a similar algorithm to encrypt your data, but it's not in their database. So in order to simulate that effectively, we've actually done our research and scripted something that is going to emulate ransomware behavior. And I'm gonna prove that it does after this test. But first of all, let's see what happens. So we're gonna to go to our test script, which is encrypt. .py again in the network location, a similar technique of execution, and we're gonna see what happens here. If this runs successfully, we should see a new folder within documents called malex, and everything in here should be encrypted. And it is, so boom, the ransomware executed successfully. And this is despite Avast having so-called ransomware protection enabled. So if we go in here, you can see that it says, it's got ransomware protection protecting our documents folder. Now, if we go into advanced settings, there's actually two options here, smart mode, the mode that it's set to by default, and then there's a strict mode. Now let's see what happens if we turn this to strict mode and then rerun the test. Boom, all of a sudden we've got these notifications saying that our files were protected and we basically get to decide whether or not these uh, encryption modifications are going to be allowed in the folder. But this is basic access control. Interestingly, the smart mode does not think that our activity here was malicious, but it is modeled after real ransomware. And in order to prove that, I'm going to run the same task on another VM running Windows 11. So this is just stock Windows 11 with nothing other than Windows Defender with the virus and threat protection enabled and up to date. And now we're gonna run the same tests. And guess what? The test does not execute at all. And the reason for that is Windows Defender is going to detect this behavior as a ransomware encryptor. This is precisely because the algorithm is designed to simulate the behavior of contemporary ransomware. So Windows actually did a better job behaviorally of blocking ransomware in this case than Avast, which we had to go and download. Now, I don't want anybody to be starry eyed about Windows Defender here. If you've watched the PC security channel, you know how terrible Windows Defender can be. And we've done tests before showcasing just that. Windows Defender is not the best AV, but at the same time, it's not entirely useless. And in certain situations, it can actually do better than a lot of the baseline free AVs that 
you will see in the market. So the point being that choosing a security product on Windows is a bit less straightforward than it was some time ago, where you could just go into Google and just look for the best free antivirus, and it was still better than using Windows Defender. Now, it just isn't so clear anymore. Honestly, I was quite surprised by these results, so I wanted to make this quick video showcasing this. But let me know if you want to see more testing like this comparing a free antivirus to Windows Defender or even a premium antivirus to Windows Defender because I think that will be fun. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and please like and share this video if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful. I think this information might surprise a lot of people, so share it with your friends. And now time for sponsors. This video is brought to you by NordVPN. Now, as you all know, if you wanna be anonymous on the interwebs, you need to have a VPN. If you're doing any kind of security testing, it's a must have. And guess what? NordVPN is one of the most elegant ones to use. You can select any location you like around the world. Their servers are fast and reliable. They also have a threat protection feature now. So you get the combined benefit of a lot of browser extensions within the VPN itself. So if you want to pretend to be in the United States so you can watch shows there, you can do that. At the moment, they also have an amazing deal on their two-year plan. So check it out. Go to nordvpn.com tpsc and show them some love for sponsoring this video. You also get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's peace of mind. If you don't like it, you can always refund. Thank you so much for watching. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.